I'm going to share something I run into every once in a while when teachers share resources, which is awesome, but then another teacher tries to post that shared resource in their Google Classroom. Now, the way Google Classroom works is if I'm a teacher, I can post anything that I own from my Google Drive into my Google Classroom. But I run into problems if someone shares maybe a slide deck with me and I try to post it in my classroom. So here's an example. Let's say that this is a resource that a teacher is sharing with me and they say, hey, go ahead and use this, which is great. Share your stuff. I share everything of mine. They go to the share button. They get the link. And then they go into their school account. So here's a Google Classroom. And I'm going to go ahead and create it as a resource. I want to share this with my students. So I'm going to put it as a material. And I'm just going to say demo material. And maybe you'll type some directions in here or whatever. But when you go down here and you maybe want to put the link in, that's usually the easiest way. And you click the link and you paste in that Google Drive link. And when I click add link and I go to post this, I get an error that says, you don't have permission to attach this file. Would you like Classroom to create a copy? Now, that's great, but what it does is it makes your own copy. So if that original document or slide deck is edited or changed, it doesn't affect your site. Now, if that's what you want, great. Hit the word copy right here. You're done. You have your own copy. You can edit it all you want. That's perfect. But if you're trying to share the same resource that someone is sharing with you, now you've unlinked them. It's a totally different copy. So it's no longer that collaborative document. But there is a way around this. So if you don't want your own copy and you do, in fact, want to share that collaborative document that somebody else owns, just hit the cancel button, close that out. Now, I had already copied that link to paste in here just before I hit the link button. So just go up to your tab up here and I'm a bit.ly user but I know a lot of people use tinyurl. So you can go to tinyurl.com and the trick is all you need to do is make a short link for it. So I'm going to put that long one right here and I'm just going to call it um, shared slides for classroom because I'm sure that's not taken. Make tiny URL. So I've made a short URL and it can be anything. You can even just have it be letters and stuff because your kiddos aren't gonna type it in. They're gonna get the link. I'm gonna copy that. And like I said, you could use bit.ly or anything you want. But now when I go down to add that link, I'm gonna add that shortened link. And now it says tinyurl.com shared slides for classroom this one will work. The Google link doesn't work because Google Classroom says you don't own it. It's looking at a tiny URL link. It doesn't know any better. So when I hit the post button, magically it works now. So now when my kiddos open it to view it, it's going to act the way it's supposed to. And this will, in fact, go to that slide deck as I wanted it to do. So it's kind of a cheat that if you're in Google Files and you want to share with other teachers in your grade level, you won't have the ability to share a collaborative document unless you make a short URL. And like I said, you can use tiny URL. I'm a bit.ly user. I like bit.ly because there's an extension and it saves them all and it's pretty convenient. Um, but there's other ones. That's just a really good workaround. So now this account, my school account, can in fact post documents, slide decks, whatever from Google that I don't own that are shared with me. So a quick, easy way to get around that error message you get when someone shares a file with you and you want to share it in your classroom.